Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Um, I figure I show you a little bit more of this monitor and this game, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, it just looks beautiful, man. Especially on this monitor. Um, I know it's not native 4K. It's uh, what? 1800p but it still looks fantastic upscale to 4k on this monitor and I'm sure you guys can see it right here the detail and everything and the controller it's it's smooth runs smooth there's no uh, any kind of delay on the controller the response time is about five milliseconds so it's perfect I think I can get probably more than that I think I can get like probably three to two millisecond respond time if I select the fastest respond time on this monitor but it looks gorgeous it really does I don't know if my camera here is doing justice you know unless you guys see it in person Just look how beautiful that looks. Here, let me uh, talk to uh, the keeper here really quick. Actually, no, let's talk to the keeper right here. I'll even turn off the lights so you guys can see a little bit better. There. Hopefully this is better. I'm trying to find the best suitable uh, viewing angle for this monitor. And I figured watching it from this side, from the top to the bottom, it gives you a better... Uh, actually, I'm glad that I'm filming it this way. Because this way you can see that this monitor truly doesn't have any bending light there is no bending light on this monitor because I'm watching it from the top to the bottom and even if I turn it from the angle you're still not gonna see that no bending light whatsoever because it is the IPS monitor and the um, the matte finish that's on the panel definitely helps with that as well and also you have to keep in mind it does have the uh, deep dark levels stabilizers meaning that you can adjust the deep dark levels on this game I mean on this monitor on this monitor which is the LG UD 69P You know, it's it's really difficult for me to show you what I'm seeing through a camera. You'll just have to trust me when I tell you that uh, if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro and you're thinking about buying a monitor, buy this monitor, man. I'm telling you, not only are you going to get that 4K upscale resolution, but it's just going to look much better. Uniformity is going to look much better. The entire experience of this game is going to look much better. And of, of above all, you're getting a much better response time. More fluid response time. Yes, I know HDR is missing, but sometimes, honestly, on this monitor, it doesn't even plays that big of a major role. Okay, Even if it did have HDR, it doesn't have that peak brightness to achieve that high dynamic range okay this is why high dynamic high dynamic range works well on the uh, big giant quantum dot with a higher peak brightness television sets all right and with the HDR granted it looks fantastic but you're never going to achieve that super perfect uh, response time on, on a big giant 4k TV than what you're gonna be getting here I 
mean, uh, just look at the detail. I, you know, I still like Decima. You know, here's why I like Decima engine. Decima engine is truly lifelike engine. You can even see each individual star above the clouds. Everything is lifelike. The physics are realistic. The movements are realistic. Uh, dynamic weather, the wind, everything its realistically done. And it's just a more lifelike natural engine. If Rockstar uh, was doing their homework, they should definitely adapt to a uh, Decima engine. And I'm not taking anything away from Unreal Engine 4. Unreal Engine 4 has done some crazy cool things that I have seen, especially with the low breakers and uh, with Hellblade. And I've seen some demos. I've seen some tech demos out there, what Unreal Engine 4 can do. It's pretty impressive. It's just that no game has utilized it to its full potential yet. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with uh, CryEngine 4. Hopefully Crisis 4 will be coming out and it's going to show us that demo. But uh, Decima Engine is definitely something that uh, it truly shows uh, a lifelike engine. And that's what I care about, man. I care about lifelike engine because that's what it feels like playing this game. Everything feels lifelike. You feel the emotions and the characters. Everything feels lifelike. Okay, so I brought the uh, camera a little bit closer to my monitor just to kind of show you on uh, what I'm seeing here. Even though I know it's going to be impossible for you to see what I'm seeing, but at least I'm trying to do my damn best here just to give you an idea how beautiful this looks on this monitor. Hey, here, I'm gonna turn off this other light. I even brought my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see it a little bit better. Just look at that, that, that smoke and fire. Just look how detailed and realistic that looks. You know, and I'm really trying to do my best here just to show you guys how beautiful it looks on this monitor I think I said this like probably hundreds of times on my previous videos everything will look razor sharp detailed but it's gonna look in such a way that it's not like outlined or something it's gonna, it, uh, maybe I'm over exaggerating it's gonna look like a painting okay have you ever looked at the painting up close like a 27 inch painting it's going to look like that, like a dry painting. That's what it's going to look like. That's the best way that I can explain it. You know. Hey, let me get a little bit closer to the uh to the fire so you guys can see it a little bit better. Look at that smoke. I look at that fire. Looks amazing. You know, I cannot control dynamic, you know, weather, and I cannot control the time of day in this game. So I just cannot wait, you know, for for the daylight so I can show you. Anyway, hopefully I've shown you enough. I only have about ten seconds left. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you appreciate this video. I hope I hope you appreciate the video. That's all I can do. Thank you.